My name is Sarah Soleil and I am in fifth grade and I come from Baldy View Elementary School. My story is called Cows Need Some Space. Once upon a time, there were 28 hostage cows that lived on Mr. Ben's dairy farm. He had other animals also, but today we're going to hear the story about the hostage adventure. The cows just stood in Mr. Ben's farm in a little pasture, eating the same grass day after day. They dreamed of traveling in wide open spaces. Of all the vacation places they could choose, the cows decided to take a cruise into space, outer space. Now these cows were pretty clever, so they decided to order a rocket ship off Mr. Ben's laptop computer. They saved up a lot of money that Mr. Ben shared with them from the sale of their wholesome milk. So they were able to pay for the rocket ship from their money in their leather wallets. After all the research, the rocket ship came in the mail. The cows were excited as they boarded the spaceship. And soon the countdown began. 10 moves, nine moves, and on down to three moves, two moves, one moon, blast off. Early the next morning, Mr. Ben's daughter, Amy, woke up early to feed all the animals on the farm, except the cows. Amy called, here cows, here cows, where have you gone? Amy checked the fields, the meadow, and even the barn, but the cows were nowhere to be found. Amy felt this was a huge cow catastrophe. She returned to the farmhouse and woke up her father from his deep slumber. She told him about the missing cows, and together they made banners and flyers to post around the town that said, missing, 28 female grass-fed, black and white hosting cows, left to roam, very intelligent. If found, please contact Amy and Farmer Ben. Meanwhile, the cows first stop, Moon Vegas. There they went to the cowboy movies, the shopping mall, and all you can eat salad buffets. They treated themselves to delicious milkshakes. Of course, all the planets had vegetarian space aliens, not carnivorous humans. It was getting late, so the cows decided to rent a hotel and have a sleepover. Fun idea, wasn't it? Most importantly, they were excited because the most entertaining thing ever was a sleepover with all of your friends. Back at the farm, Amy was losing hope. Her father decided to go door to door to see if anyone knew where the cows had roamed. The vacation and cows just woke up at nine o'clock. They were planning to go out Lost Mars and they, had a they were having a lot of fun until they noticed they felt utterly uncomfortable. They had not been milked for over 24 hours. When cows don't get milked twice a day, they feel pain and pressure and be can become very sick. The cows needed to return to the farm as soon as possible. They, their next stop was downtown Jupiter. The cows planned to visit planet Kalwali, Universal Stars, while they were there and return home. By the end of their visit, they were all sick and had to return right home right now. So the cows loaded themselves into the rocket ship and the countdown began. 10 moves, nine moves, eight moves. But when they got down to blast off, nothing happened. The rocket ship just shut down. They all thought and thought and one had an idea. What if we made a machine to help us get home? No, it'll take too long, said another cow. The cows were desperate. What if we rent a space shuttle from Universal Stars, said a cow named Lizzie. All the cows clapped with excitement. It was just what they did. Soon the cows would fly over the moon and back home. That afternoon, Amy sadly walked back to the barn and opened the door. All 28 cows were there. They looked rested and contained after they were milked. She was so happy to see them and asked, where were you? They just mooed and looked happily out into space. If you might glance up at the sky that night, you might have seen what looked like a space shuttle passing through and what looked like a trail of white milk drops that the cows had sprayed across the, the sky that we call the Milky Way. I was reading this book, Natural Geographic, and there is this sculpture, and it was a cow wearing an astronaut suit. And I always read this book because it was one of my favorites. So when it came to this, I thought, hey, agriculture and this. So I put it together and I made the story. The main thing that I was looking for was a problem. So then when I was looking for a problem, I searched what would happen if cows don't get milked at a certain time period. And then that's when I found out that they need to get milked every day, so yeah. A contest is a good reason to write stories because then kids can like experience a new feeling. Like I love writing personally and I have this journal and I write stories in it, so maybe next year I can put one of my other stories in.